it's Friday the 31st of July on plot 13. It's very hot and very dry. You can see the sunflowers, some of them are going over now. The sage has got enormous on this bed, much bigger than I expected and the dill is looking rather good with the sage and there are some raspberries. A couple of raspberries. Lots and lots of beans. The asparagus has got lots of new shoots and it's wafting around beautifully. The flowers look very good in the middle. Here we've taken out, um, here we've got the lettuces are growing, the radishes come up, the certain not quite. White mustard has started to germinate. Starting to get some beans on the, the um, cannellini beans and the yin yang beans. You've got the little cucumber just there. And there's an another one right down the bottom. I'm sure if you can really see very well. Two Swedes have been attacked by flea beetle. There's quite a lot of holes there. And this is buckwheat, which has come up in beautiful rows. Petrol spinach has practically gone over, but we've had another meal from that. Slightly tougher than before, but it was still very much spinachy. Fenugreek is starting to germinate. Fennel is looking good. Parsnips I now find were planted too close together. The celery is a bit yellow here. I'm going to actually take one home today and we're going to try it. That onion bed has been completely cleared by Ron and it's going to be ready for the next things which I think is going to be spinach for the winter. The Mossenborough leeks are standing up nicely and at the back there's the northern lights which are supposed to be beautiful purple over the winter. Courgettes, I took out two plants because six was too many and they were overcrowded and they are actually looking a lot better now. Swiss chard is great, some of it's going to seed, but we've got more. That cabbage needs eating now. They're getting much more promising. A lot of flea beetle everywhere. Can you see that flea beetle? They're just everywhere on the brassicas. Particularly on the, the Cavaloniera. Just look at all those beetles. I'm not sure what to do really. There's not any chemical means or organic means. I have been capturing them on bits of grease on cardboard. Might try a bit more of that, but next time I think you need a mesh. Not quite so much flea beetle damage on that one, but that one's not so good. These onions are yet to go. Strawberry bed. We took the um, netting off, but I've cut off all the runners and weeded it. The wildflowers are beautiful. And you see there's butterflies and bees, all sorts of pollinators enjoying themselves on those wildflowers. The flower bed itself, the phacelia has gone to seed, the pot marigolds have gone to seed and the mallow looks as if it's it might be over, so it's just the cosmos that's still going. I'm not sure what to do with all this, I have to have a think. But the wildflowers have been amazing. The 
morning glory is actually showing its morning glory there. We've got tomatoes ripening. And do some watering and this is how it looks on a very dry Friday morning last day of January of July 2020.